wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold! Mean to go in, wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit! Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. <laughs> You're actually quite amusing this way. Be assured. You'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. Uh, how intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this'll be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? 
Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. Oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgerd and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. <laughs> 